flurry. Hey guys, welcome to our Saturday night thrift haul. We go live every Saturday night at 8.30 Mountain Time to show you what we've been thrifting at the Goodwill bins, at the thrift store. Today we have some free stuff that we got from the Heathers. Um, <laughs> actually, a lot of the stuff that came from the Heathers actually went to my friend Jen. We're going to be doing maybe next week if I get the um, box from her. We're going to be doing a junk swap. Uh, I sent her a box. She's sending me a box. Um, but yeah, so a lot of stuff came from there. If you want to shop along, you can visit JamieRayVintage.com, click thrift haul or thrift flips and thrift finds collection, or Caitlin's on here dropping links. Um, but today is actually one of my more favorite weeks. And I think a lot of it is because we have some really legit old stuff, not just like cute stuff. Um, and it's a really good mix. Yes. Sorry. I just discovered a broken like link on this. Oh no. But I think I can solder it. I'm going to solder it. Like you soldered my light that's hanging up there. I, I soldered that a long time ago. It needs, it needs repair. <laughs> All right, let's get started. Why don't you show them the basket then? Basket. We've got three chicken baskets tonight, actually. One's full of stuff. So we'll show that one later. This one has a great wood handle and it's divided. Uh, but it's only be... with the little bar on top. It's not all the way down. Yeah, but it's still like if you got something in there, it keeps it from jostling around. Like you could put a couple jars in there or something. Um, twenty two ninety five on this one, and then this one here has a black handle. I talked in the video about possibly painting this, but the black has been growing on me, so we're just gonna leave it alone. And I will. I can't even see where I, I kind of pushed it back together. It's nineteen ninety five. It's nineteen ninety five. I'll I'll do the repair if I can't repair it then we'll do something different. Um, but th these are both great. I just, I, like I like how fine. deep this one is. You could hot glue it. I can't even see where it is. It's anymore. right there. It's right there. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. Okay. Yep. All right, let's do the stuff that's in this basket. So then we can do, well, we'll just do this basket. Ooh. All right, why don't you do this basket too? You oh, this need, basket? You might need to skip with it or else people. Actually, you know what? You can skip with a burl wood basket. Yeah, that was the one I was Because you're most skip excited with. about that one. So this one is also $22.95. Hey, Catherine Miles, it has been a while. How are you? So this one is also big and deep, has the wood handle. Um, and it's this one's white. So we have like three different color options tonight. We got the silver, How white, and the How much did we spend on those? Like two or three bucks? They were like $2 each. I can't remember. Sometimes. Yeah. I take the price tags off to photograph and they don't get put This back was off. in one of the baskets. I don't know where it came from. It feels like trash that just got tossed in there. No, for whatever reason, one of the baskets had burlap like twine hang tied on the bottom and I untied it. That's a good call. Like why was it there? I don't know. I think they maybe hung it from something. Oh. I want to show them that. Yes. So <clears throat> most likely like a Dutch or uh Swedish, probably more leaning towards Dutch um, <clears throat> butter mold. And I, I want to say that they're probably right. The people that said that, hey, that's a butter mold, because it has like a register here where you would have put a top on that and probably just poured something in or like, I don't know, melted butter. What I don't know how they do these uh, with but the butter. Maybe they just press them. German spring early cookies. So I put both and you can choose what you like. It's from that is. region. Like all those countries are touching. So, or real close to it. <laughs> 24.95. Right. Next up. Okay. Uh, we've got the uh, meat grinder. Yeah. So was this from the bins? Too? This was from Goodwill. This is the 110 Puritan. Um, it's made in USA. I got this because I've been seeing a lot of people in vignettes and stuff. They don't use it. This one is actually 100% functional. It's got two dies on here, so you could uh, actually three. Uh, nope, a cutting blade. We're and only two not dies. keeping it because yes, we do own an apocalyptic meat grinder. I've seen people. I like this because it's older. It's got this turned wood handle, and people have been growing like string of pearl succulents out of these, and they look amazing. How and you can just you can just put it on the edge of a shelf. You know, oh. you got your dishes going, and then this is still functional kitchen looking. But then you got a succulent growing out the top. There you go. Or, Zeb. you know, you could put a spider plant in there. I don't care what you put in there. All right. I love this lamp. It was uh, $8, which is kind of top of the mark for me. There is like a piece down here. You probably can't tell. I couldn't tell when I got it, but it was broken. They glued it back on. They did a good job. So if you get real close, 
you can see that they fixed it and this lamp is 29.95 i would it's totally my style. not broke it'd it. probably be like 50 ish oh it's really cool i like it so you, the the chip is where you get your discount Deborah Rossi says uh, that her grandmother used one of those meat grinders all the time. So I have used one of those quite a bit. <laughs> Zeb was raised very much different than me. All of our meat came ground from the grocery store. We raised 30 turkeys for a few years in a row, and you just got to do something with all those turkeys. <laughs> they, they, that's a lot of meat. Um, all right, let's show this one. I'm going to get this stack. This is Jamie's picture of uh, Mary and Jesus, and it was two dollars. Probably originally had something on the top, like huh, yeah, to in there. hang it. That's I'm selling for 19.95 as is. I think it's really cute. I love the vintage. It's a really good picture of uh, Mary and Jesus. Yeah, I like it. I feel like I. Oh, um, Caitlin, they weren't hiding. It's that there were the thrift flips in between that we painted. So you probably just didn't go like down far enough. Sorry, uh, I should have told you. And I, actually, we have so many things. I listed them. I'm standing because we sat too much yesterday and my back hurts. Um, we sat we, through two basketball games. Eliza cheered in both varsity girls and varsity boys yesterday because the the varsity cheer team is at nationals in California. So JV handled both games and we sat, and then we also sat between the games and sat to wait. Anyways, my back hurts. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, no, I'm not, I forgot it. Well, what, I what say were you just something. showing? I just oh, about the meat grinder. The meat grinder, yeah. I don't know. It's gone. So this is from the bins. It's a leather fossil, right? Mm -hmm. Um, It's got a weird price tag on it. I don't, oh. Wait. So we don't, what did we pay? About three dollars because we bought two things and oh, it was six dollars. Okay, so three dollars for it. It's in really good condition, it's leather and it's got like a big spot in the middle and then two other spots. These two ones have pockets. magnets, and I like that because I don't like my purse to be flopped open, but I always, I don't always feel like I want to zipper and unzipper it. So for things that aren't super critical, you could put them in here, and then like your wallet, you could zip in here because you obviously don't want that to accidentally be accessed and it's really cute it's like a good neutral 21.95 on that thanks caitlin drop the link to that yeah um if you guys have already been to the website you might want to like look back because there was like probably another whole half of stuff that wasn't listed because it was broken up weird because we did those thrift flips oh, and i listed them well when you search new to old oh. like they would have been active and she goes through all the drafts it's weird it was maybe 10 items she said so check back so this is a Russ Christmas stocking hanger. It was $2 at the DI. It's free from Purina Cat Food yeah, in Yeah, someone, someone said free. They, it's handwritten, so I don't know if that's really, I don't I don't know what that is. Maybe but they the like turned is, in points or something? Oh, maybe. But the uh, the stocking holder is really cool. I didn't even know it was a stocking holder because I thought it might have been too small. But lo and behold, it is for holding stockings. Oh, um, Angie's on here. It's gonna be twelve ninety five. Angie says she likes that purse. It's a good I one. asked Zeb if Richard stopped by to talk to him while I was cleaning out the barn today, and he said Richard was busy with all of his new camper friends that are come by to see his new camper. Because <laughs> you fancy now. I'm right. excited for you guys. I know. Um, all right. So vintage. This is a mellow rich Mrs. Smith's pie. And it is heavy gauge. I, I love the patina and the wear on this. Um, we're selling it for $9.95. I picked it up at the DI for a dollar on this one. This is a welfare square one. Are you okay, Jack? Redrick, are you okay? The boys are really needing something. I just right heard now. somebody somebody <laughs> fall. Redrick there hurt was, himself. There was a there was a big fall. And in Jack there. has given himself a mohawk. This is what's going on to the left of me. Are you going to be okay? Here it is, knee. All right. All right. We got to get back to work. Go see grandma. Okay. Blue Pyrex. Made in USA. This one here, this uh, this pie pan, uh, these go, the blue is very collectible on this, even if it's like a little newer because they don't do blue a lot, I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Anything it's in the cobalt is like super collectible. I thought it was beautiful. I just bought it. It was like two bucks i think yeah. i just thought it was really pretty i love cobalt blue and so anytime i find it i usually will pick it up uh, everybody's, I, everybody's laughing at my shirt i don't even know if we carry these anymore it's one of my favorite i'm also wearing 
All right, do you guys remember when we used to carry all the joggers? I think we still have some, but I'm wearing my old soft joggers. I don't know. If we do, they're probably like the weird random sizes, <laughs> like the triple small or the or the uh Hey Jack, you need to go the upstairs. 4X nope, leave your brother's wears. monster that he made there and go find something to do. All right. Thank you. These were highly sought after, many people messaged. Um, they are bookends, just birdcage bookends. They were a dollar each. Dollar which each. Which is crazy. The set is $34.95. They don't really need anything. I was going to paint the birds on top, but then decided against it and found something else for the thrift haul challenge. If Ooh. you missed that, that was, it came out late Thursday. It took a long time to edit that video. Yeah, that one is actually, so we, our videos get ranked by YouTube and that was actually one of my most favorite videos we've probably done in the last month. And it is ranked 10 of 10, yep. like the worst video we've put out as far as view count goes. So if you haven't watched that, <laughs> please watch it. Please share that video out so that way YouTube knows it's awesome so they can continue to push it. Because I want to do more thrift challenges. I think next time we're going to do gonna less. Do $10. I think we could get away from $5 if we're at the DI. It's just so cheap. Now. Yeah. Like I, we just kept having we the shop. We had 11 and items each <laughs> for 20 bucks. More if you count those hooks individually. That's true. That's and like, true. we just had so many items. We had to spend, we had to buy so many things to spend 20 bucks. So that was a lot of fun. And we each have two left. Yeah. So the, it's like neck and neck. It's down I haven't to the done wire. the math to see who needs to sell what to win, but we still have two left each Mine of us. Mine were all kind of that, small items. So Jamie might be ahead anyway. My basket was my big ticket item and it hasn't sold yet. All oh, right. we do ha still have my shirt from small to 3X. And Caitlin just dropped the link. Thank there you. There you go. There you go. Okay. Okay, vintage turkey platter. Wrong time of year, I know, but uh, we sold a couple last fall and I'm not even sure if we have any more. And when it's time to have turkey platters, you don't always find them in the thrift store. So I buy them whenever I find them. So this one is $29.95. Getting a big Janice says she loves the bookends. I remember Kai Love's real name. It's gonna you be a good did. night. You did, good job. I remember so many things about Janice, but I, for whatever reason, because her name is Kai Love, and that's what I always see. It's like always in my brain. Okay, next up. So divided wood bowl. This was two dollars at the thrift store. It's painted black on the bottom. It looks like it's some sort of like teak or something like that. Um, and then it was it was, so it was two dollars. We're selling for eighteen ninety five. I'm not going to paint this one or do anything to it. I like I just it. leave the natural wood the way that it is. Spring Farm says I'm addicted to turkeys. I think they're really cool. And I I love a good vintage turkey platter because most of the, like for me personally, most of the things that I have in my home are antique and vintage. So if you take something really modern and throw it in, it looks a little weird. So it's always nice when you can find things for the holidays that match. Okay, right. soup terrine. I haven't even opened this. What's this spoon look like inside? Sorry, you're gonna have to hear the tape peeling off. It was five dollars, and it does have a it's spoon. It's complete. Oh, it's a nice ladle. Yeah, it's got a ladle and a lid. And if you wanted to just use it to push some bulbs in for spring, that would be really pretty. I like how the handles are kind of like a, almost like a bow, like a ribbon. I think it'd be really cool to plant a bunch of chives in there and have like to keep it in your kitchen and just cut them to cook oh. with, and then just just keep regrowing. You could do basil too. I lo I I love basil. I have basil in my window right there. I see it. It needs right. to be water. This is, it was five bucks. It's going to be $39.95. Um, Nancy says, I got that exact turkey plate. It was my grandma. And Brendan says, I love the $20 thrift flip challenge video. So much fun. My sister said that the video has 23,000 views. Crazy enough, 23,000 views is still the worst video we've had in a while of the edited ones. Our edited videos have been getting on average between 60 and 100,000 views, which is crazy. <laughs> Crazy. It's been a lot of fun the last few months. Yeah, it's been fun because we had our channel just kind of like went stagnant for a really long time. In fact, for a while, we started getting less views like a year ago, December. If we had 10,000 views on a video, it was doing really good. And it was really discouraging, but we didn't give up. We're like, you know what? We're going to switch up how we're doing things. We're going to change up our videos. And it took us like, I don't know, six or eight months to kind of see what worked. And it's finally starting to click and grow, which it's is probably fun. time to switch again. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you think you know what you're doing, it changes. All right. So these are they what, what kind of party pottery was this? This is the Pinewood Village, but do you remember what kind the maker on this? 
That's Pinewood Village. Oh, Pinewood Village is Maker. <laughs> All right. That's why it's stamped Pinewood U Village. Utensil holder. I thought it was like the style. Uh, utensil holder, twenty one ninety five. This was three ninety nine at the Goodwill. This one was three ninety nine at the Goodwill. The picture is a little more desirable. It's twenty nine ninety. They're like. English earthenware. And if you don't like the hearts, all you have to do is turn it around. I was about to just say that. I think we said it in the video too. I would just flip it and that's what we'd get. I don't dislike the hearts on these. I think they're cute. I like the color blue. They remind me um, of kind of the false grass yeah, pattern. Kind of, huh? A little bit. It they're must cute. have been from the same era. And they sell for quite a bit online. So those were a good find. Imagine that. Two manufacturers um, copying each other. We've got a new uh, watcher on here. Haley, welcome, welcome. Kai says our videos are fun to watch. Thanks. We have fun doing them. I do have to say that towards the end of Thursday, when it started dragging on and we've been painting for five hours, <laughs> we I was too like, many things to paint. I was like, Zeb, Zeb, I don't know if we're going to get this done. He's like, we can do it. I'm like, okay, I, I can do it. I really missed my paint sprayer. Like I cannot wait for warm weather and I can just like divide things up and base coat everything. Even if I do it like a more advanced finish, it's nice to just spray it all. So I finally have a Jamie and Zeb video mostly filmed. It was, it ended up just being a barn clean out, but I've got some footage from around Christmas time that no one's seen um, of us just like playing out at the property. So I'll probably throw that in there too. Uh, but anyway, so in the barn clean out, I found the heater. Heater. And it works. The big one I used to have oh, in the garage. Oh, the one. Are you going to put it in that barn or are you going to put it in our garage? Because I think that barn's too big for that heater. I don't really think it would warm it, it would up. keep an area warm. <laughs> our garage doesn't really need it. It's faces south. It's always warm in there. And we had to clean up the barn so that way we had space to work on the cottage and also so we can move stuff because we're going to be finishing a room in our basement. And so we've just like, it's like the great junk move. We just got to move everything around. All right. What did you me. call this? A hazelnut? It's a, it's a nutmeg grinder. A nutmeg grinder. Not it's from hazelnut. West Germany. And that came from Heather. So it was free. Made in West Germany. It's got a little hook on there. So you could just hang it on like a hook or a wall or whatever you want. And um, I would just display it. It's a little on the rusty side. You could probably really work at that and get rid of it. But I would just display it. It's cool. All right, I had a request. Carol wants me to thank all the viewers who are watching. Do you want that individually or just as a whole? Well, we do appreciate you watching. <laughs> I do appreciate it. I just happen to catch the, the, the new people or people that I haven't seen in a while and it catches my eye. But we wouldn't be here without you guys, so thanks. Okay. Oh, spools. These are from Goodwill. I always get excited when I find these. There's a Those are of, big. There's a ton of different things Those you are can good. do with these. They're I probably should have charged more for them, but I haven't, I haven't found them in a while. So well, I'm not it's sure. all right because they're only $1.99 at the Goodwill, which is on the lower end for some, some things we find at the Goodwill, especially vintage or antique type items. Um, they're $16.95 each. One is blue and the other has like a faded yellow on it. I don't know if you separated them individually or not, but <laughs> I separated them individually. Vicky, speaking of individually, Vicky, Vicky's a smart Alec. She's like, I would like to be thanked individually. That'll so have to be another video. <laughs> We'd be here all night doing shout outs. We have too many amazing people that watch us. All right. Next up. Well, I'll just thank everybody. A to Zach. Because <laughs> that's her last name. Okay. Next up. This is a Homer Laughlin bowl. It does have a chip in the side. I did not um, Does it need me mention to sand that. that a little bit? Um, no, it's not sharp. Is that a new chip? And it's under. Well, it's underneath. Oh, it's on so the I just side. didn't notice it. It was two dollars. We're selling for fourteen ninety five. Caitlin, um, if this has not sold, do you mind putting that there's a chip in it? And if it has sold, we'll just have to. Actually, there's two chips. <laughs> we'll have to email them and make sure they still those want are, it. Those were getting by you this week. It, it was a lot to list. Virginia there's like a Rose lot of items here. Is the here. pattern? I. If I was selling something for like 50 bucks, I'd be like, but for $14.95, I, I would use it. I'd buy it for that. So, oh, uh, Yumiko is on here. Hey, Yumiko, I shipped your package today. It was me. Chances are, if you got a shipping notification today, it was either me, Eliza, or Odelia that shipped your package because um, Kaziah and Maria are both under the weather. And so we were, all three of us were working. Um, also, don't judge me on the amount of tape I use or my packing skills. I'm not as good as the rest of the people, but I do my best. <laughs> she uses a lot of tape. She's like, this box needs to be waterproof with tape. <laughs> All right, I'm going to show you these close because it's kind of sitting back there. I don't oh, know. Oh, and Yubiko, I put your frame inside the afghan. I like wrapped it, but then I put it inside for extra padding. Fun little design on these salt and pepper shakers. 
they're kind of like a muted grayish taupe color. Um, it's twelve ninety five. Then I've got a couple more to show while I'm here. These ones have tarnished silver, and it's it's not cut glass on these, but it it looks like it is. Did it's you like tell that these really ones were Noritake? Glass. Oh, I did not. These ones are Noritake. Those ones already sold. So these ones are good. I like the toppers on them. They're twelve ninety five. These ones are cool because they shake out the side. They're not out the top. Yeah, they're really cool. Some I found one where it said um, these are sixteen ninety five. Made in Japan, but those didn't have a made in Japan sticker on them, so I wasn't positive. And these ones are the cutie ones. They're sixteen ninety five little teddy bears. I think they're designed to like lay. Oh no, they sit flat. They don't like stand up super well because of the bottom. I'm not gonna lie. Like, would I use them as actual salt and pepper shakers? Probably not. If it were me and I wanted them to stand up for display, I'd probably remove the plugs and then they probably stand up in it. They do, they just don't stand up like amazingly well. <laughs> they both have their stoppers and they don't look like they're hardened. Sometimes you get them this old and like the they're rubber like is like cracking rigid. and broken. Thanks, Caitlin. I noticed you put the chips in the bowl. I appreciate that. I try to catch everything, but it doesn't always happen. Um, I had I had one more set of salt and pepper shakers I wanted to show you close. <laughs> All right. So those were the Teddy's probably my salt favorite salt and pepper shakers of the week. Oh, Where's these the, aren't salt and pepper shakers. These are toddlers. Is this mouse not working? Um, it should be. Oh, Maybe how do you purchase items before now? So we just well we go live at eight thirty, and the collection goes live about eight twenty five, just before we go live. And Mary said she received her forty quilt from last week, and it was absolutely beautiful and smelled wonderful. It's the Tide Pods. <laughs> yeah, I people are like, how do you wash it? And I'm like, I just use a Tide Pod or a Kirkland brand, depending on what sale, and then OxyClean. And I always do an extra rinse, so that way if people are sensitive to like anything that I'm using, it should rinse most of it out, and then we just lay it to dry. No smelly beads, no fabric softener. That's how I wash all my Afghans. Okay. These are egg coddlers. Some of these go for a pretty penny. But we are selling ours. I don't know. Twenty six ninety five. Oh, there it is. I, I they usually sell for so like twenty dollars a piece, but I just thought I would sell them as a pair. And they are from England. I think the brand's on the bottom. Um. Yeah. Royal. Worcester. Worcester. Oh, Mary said it was her floral quilt. I don't know why. I I probably should have figured that out. Your mom's on here. Hey, mom. Oh, did I tell you your aunt Jane called today? What did she say? She said that nobody ever billed her for her rulers. And that I said, That is correct. I, I said, Aunt Jane, they were a dollar at the Goodwill. And definitely, Heavenly Father wanted you to have them because we never see them. And two days after she called up asking for them, they show up at the Goodwill for like 99 cents. She's making like a Christmas tree out of rulers. And she started it before Christmas, didn't get it finished, and she just wanted to finish it. She's like, do you guys have any old rulers? I'm like, not that you could cut up and make a Christmas tree out of, but I found some like the next day after she called me. She kept trying to give me her credit card, and I told her that that her money was no good to you. So Yeah. We named our daughter after her. Like, we owe her something. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Eliza Jane, her middle name. J-Y-E. Inspired by Aunt Jane. All right, let's uh, let's show the anthropology mugs. These they don't make them anymore, and they are rather popular. So I feel like they have a new style every year, like the letter mugs. They they always seem like they have them, um, but they change them up. And these are they were a dollar ninety nine each, and these are nine ninety five. What are you trying to? I'm just making sure they have the right anthropology bird on here. Yeah. Um, but so we have E for Eliza, J for Jamie. And let's go with Nancy on that one. And then an H for the Heathers. An H. What is an egg cobbler? Don't they just like put it in the oven or something? I don't know. It's... Listen, I ain't never coddled no egg. Unless, just... you, unless holding it like this means coddled. There's been a lot of egg coddling if this is how you do it. Because sometimes it's sketch getting them from the chicken coop to the house. <laughs> I wash Zeb's uh, coat that he normally wears when he takes care of the animals. Uh. <laughs> and there was an egg in there and nobody knew it. And it must have cracked. And all that was left was a shell and some paper all wadded up. It was a bunch of receipts, like a bunch of Home Depot receipts. And that oh egg was gosh. in that pocket. <laughs> oh my goodness. All, all right, right. Let's keep going here. Because 
for whatever reason, every about every week we find something nautical, even though we live about 10 hours from the closest ocean, uh, 10 hour drive, 700 miles is how long that takes us to drive that or how far um, we have a we have um like lakes that you can sail on yep we do have the great salt lake and you might be able to sail on utah lake but it's shallow so i don't know if you could you get... can canoe on it yeah you could anyway this is all wood and it's got like a hemmed burlap sail on here uh it was 2.99 at the goodwill we're selling it for 19.95 and i don't need to do anything with it it's already beachy and Distressed. And distressed good. I love it. Okay, I have a little secret to share about this. Seb has to fix it. I don't understand <laughs> how picture. it was initially connected. There's holes in the bottom, but I, there's no holes in this. So it looks like it was glued. So we're going to put some epoxy or something. There's four. So this was the inside, and then it had That's like some bottom. little feet here. So it was never screwed in. Oops. Careful, it's already yeah, sold. Yeah, it's, it's only ever been glued. So anyway, Zeb's going to fix that. Just disclaimer. It, I'm going to epoxy this. this uh, is this a coffee grinder? Mm -hmm. We're just going to epoxy right there all the way around the edge. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine, he says. It's $42.95. Especially with like how popular like making your uh, your designer coffee and and grinding it like this could i don't know how well this is actually going to grind i think somebody's going to use it for decor Zeb. Come on, i need if you get this i need you at least try it once i don't drink coffee so it's lost on me but i need i need it to be used <laughs> i love old tools that can still be used it came from heather i'm super excited to have it because i brought one back like a couple trips ago from france oh, and it broke one. it was a big one and it was really sad it was like one that goes on your wall Oh, you put a cracked egg in the coddler and you boil them. Okay. All right. Keep going. Next up, we have this cast iron fleur de lis that found it for a dollar and we're selling it for $9.95. I don't pass anything cast iron unless it's expensive. There were some stuff under the glass that I was like, mm, that's not really that old. And they're wanting almost retail price for it under the glass at the thrift store in the antique section. Um, but I did get that little uh, Dutch oven. Uh, the other day and i'm keeping you'll that. notice that's not here yeah that, i'm keeping that one uh but yeah cast iron don't pass on it it'll be good forever like it never goes out of style this is a sun-kissed milk glass reamer i did put in the listing that has some chips around the edge they're pretty faint like they're not huge it's just what happens when you have something and actually use it um and did we we thrifted this didn't we mm, i think this came no this was with the oh that was from heather yep okay I would have paid up to four or five dollars and we're selling it for nineteen ninety five. They do have different last names. The Heathers are two different well, people, but we're people. not gonna disclose their last names for safety reasons. <laughs> um the wood basket sold. So oh, I didn't the, even see this. The burl this wood is basket. this sun is embossed sunkissed on the side. Yeah, that's why I said it's sunkissed, because nice. it says sunkissed on it. The right. wood burl basket. This, I'm almost ready to skip with this that. pot was used as a pot. It comes complete with dirt, so we'll have to wash that out. Um, and it was a dollar ninety nine, and we're selling it for thirteen ninety five. It's Delft, super cute. Um, this actually was the first item to sell tonight to good old Alicia. Um, and we're gonna remove the M and M. Zeb checked it at the thrift store, and it will it is, come off. I think if we just soak it in water, it's not like enamel or anything. It'll just come off. If we well, actually, if you just scrape it, and then also magic eraser sometimes helps. But it's it originally just looked like this cute little pint crock from uh, Roseville, Ohio, Ohio. It is not Roseville pottery. I got schooled in the comments. It's from Roseville. It's Robinson Ransbottom is the name of the potter that made this one, and it sold for. $16.95. I like these with beeswax candles in them. We have a few of them. They're really great holders for your beeswax candles. All right. This is a vintage nut chopper. If you've never had to use one, they're a delight. I like this one. It has the patent number on the back. I'm an, I like the shape of the little bottle. Yeah, I feel like that would have been the first. I like the shape of the little uh, bottle that catches the, the chopped nuts. And look at this little flower oh, it did on the sell. front. It's like a rose. Is that pretty? And I look, also look don't at think the age. Like I couldn't that. have done that better myself. Kim, do you use your nut grinder like this? I'm always curious if people actually like use them. 
Um, up next, this is like a jadeite colored little orange. I will disclose, I will try to clean this, but this has been used and I don't know if I can get that all out. So it may be for just decor. <laughs> I, don't chop your nuts in that. <laughs> uh, $19.95 for this cute little urn. It looks like somebody had potted in it. I think it'd be so cute with like some sort of floral in it, but it's like a jadeite color and I love it. Zeb, can you fix the camera? Oh, yeah. Oh, she, the one that she has is jadeite, so she does not use it. Like, good call. authentic. That's, that's a good call there. All right. We have, we have copper fish here, copper sprayed on copper. But these are great. Came from Heather. Hang them in your kitchen. You know, do, do your fish loaf in there. Your, your jello fish mold. That's, that's a lot of fish. <laughs> how much is a nut chopper? The nut chopper's already sold and it sold for, how much was it? There's no price tag on here. It, I think it was like eighteen ninety five. I think. I pull the price off when I'm coming to show them close. So sometimes I forget where I put that. I usually just. Um, it right sold here. for eighteen ninety yeah. eighteen ninety eight. Normally eighteen ninety five, but I oh, must have ended it an eight. On there. Good, I'm going to put those extra, extra three cents in the college fund. All right, this is fourteen ninety five. I actually don't remember where we got this. We got things from a lot of places this week. We, that came from Heather. We went to like nine thrift stores and we got some sweet donations. Um, kitchen countertops. Those in the back, I don't know that they're on a video. The ones that we have here is just old wood that we planed down. And if you type in like Jamie Ray Vintage Kitchen Island, in one of those videos, you'll see there's a high chance that it'll the show countertops. Up. Yeah. All right. Um, next up, we have a bunch of brass. So I, it's so shiny that I thought maybe it was like plastic. You know that gold plastic that was really popular. It's not. It's all solid brass. All right. So this one is Baldwin, and this is my favorite piece of brass we may have ever thrifted. It's, it's for going on a ship. Yeah. Look at that. Like it always stays upright because it's weighted on the bottom. You can even hang it on the wall and it will stay upright. And it is solid, solid brass. This is heavy. Yep. And that one's already sold. Yep. This for... one was, well, I want to say four. You're like, no, no it was $29.95. This that. one is $26.95. And these were all $4 each. Um, this one's also Baldwin. It's not, it doesn't say it. The bottom part's removed, but I looked it up. This is actually, it's Waterford Crystal. It would have had like a crystal hurricane on it and it, it costs about $300 with the crystal on there. <laughs> We're selling just the bottom for $32.95. I think it's cute as is. And then if you ever could find the crystal to put on here, it'd be pretty valuable. Um, and then next up, these are solid brass wall sconces, $39.95. I just, I love things like this. I actually do want to put more um brass and like metal sconces in the house just because you know in case the power ever goes out it would be really handy to use them throughout well, the house those ones hold it nice and far away from the wall yeah they keep it pretty safe like we do have quite a few like i said i have like silver and copper metal like candlesticks and you have nice all, all those seasonal tapers we need to use them for something she's, she's got like pink tapers and black tapers and red tapers <laughs> and gold tapers <laughs> my black ones I like to save for Halloween because it's very... Um, We're not allowed to burn them. It's like when she puts the ribbon on the towel I on the stove. If it has them. a ribbon on it, that's the warning to everyone in the family. This is not for hands or cooking. What's that? The Haunted Mansion at Disneyland? Mm -hmm. My silver candlesticks, that's what they remind me of when I put the black candlesticks or the candle, black candle tapers in them. All right. Sorry. Squirrel, I got distracted. When you start talking about my We tapers, got some great brass this week. Yes, we did. Okay, Anchor Hawking. This is just a little tiny bowl with a scalloped edge. I love bowls like this for like berries or nuts or whatever. We eat all of our meals buffet style, so I'm always looking for small dishes that I can set out. Listen. We have like a stack of them in my cupboard over there, and I love clear glass or white. Like for me personally, what I use on the daily, like when we have family dinners and things like that, is always clear glass and white because even if they're not a match set, they all look good and it's not distracting. And I said, you know what Zeb does? He just like puts the pot out. Or he takes a sour cream container and he puts the food in that. Like that's going to be. Also, displayed. I will save that sour cream container and use it for leftovers. So I have, <laughs> I have to be careful about what I keep at the house because Zeb doesn't always match stuff. So clear and white. So that's why I bought this because I just thought it'd be really cute for. You know, when it's just the family over for Sunday dinner, I'm not really worried. Or if it's just our kids. 
Um, definitely. I'm like, here's the paper plates, guys. Good luck. So Caitlin said that Grandma Doreen used to have these and they used to eat ice cream out of them. Oh, that's fun. Memory from when she was little. Okay. You want to show them your... Your Christmas mugs you got there? These are your Christmas mugs. Yeah, well, I mean, they're yours. They're in your hand. Six ninety five dollars each. Um, they are Schumann at Arsberg, Germany, from Bavaria, as was says on there. There's a crest on the bottom, and I believe that these this is under the glaze. That might not be. It they're might really be, pretty. But they're cool. They're great little Christmas mugs. Really classic. Okay, next up, crystal vase. Surprisingly enough... These usually have all kinds of chips in them, that which you can't not. tell because they have this like, it's like, it's a like scalloped, scalloped edge. edge, but this one doesn't. It was two ninety nine, and we're selling it for nineteen ninety five. No chips. I always pick up vases this time of year. We're getting ready for spring. People are cutting things out of their garden, and so they're always looking for things to put them in. Okay. Oh, yes, my mom did use them for pudding. So my mom used to make the like <clears throat> Jello pudding. I didn't even know. <laughs> I don't want to throw my mom under the bus here, but making things from scratch is not my mom's jam. She was very much a, when the fast and easy came out in the sixties and seventies, my mom was right on that. So she always made pudding out of a box. The first time I made a cream pie, the microwave guy came by the house door to door salesman. Hold on, I'm telling a story. your dad was like, well, I knew this part of the story. No, this has nothing to do with that. Okay. The first time I made a cream story. pie, I whipped up the, the pudding, but I didn't know. I was like, I'm whipping up the cream for the cream pie. I taste it and I'm like, this tastes like this tastes like pudding, like what my mom made the Jello. And so I called my mom and I was like, I made cream pie and it tastes just like pudding. And my mom's like, that's what goes in a cream pie pudding. And I was like, you can make that from scratch. I didn't know. I was 30 years old. <laughs> there you go. Uh, back to the microwave. Sorry, <laughs> sorry to interrupt you. That's okay. Uh, Jamie's dad loved to tell about the time when the microwave guy came by. I think it was like $500 for this microwave. It's like four, four house payments worth of uh, money at the time. And they got a microwave, one of the first houses on the block. And my dad bought it because it refreshed their green beans. Also, your mom said that it lasted forever. It did. That, <laughs> that microwave was purchased way before I was born and lasted until... We stopped. We got rid of the apartment that we had in California. So that was after. Oh. After we got married. Yeah, still that was. I stayed the night there when we went and got our marriage license. <laughs> I probably used that microwave unknowingly. <laughs> <laughs> Monica goes, "What? Did he interrupt her?" If you watch these Thanks, videos, Monica. he actually does interrupt on a fairly regular basis. Just saying. Yeah, I might I, interrupt I, more. But it happens. You, you got you gotta there's a lot of people that live in this house and if you want to get a word in edge wise you have to edge them out and just jump in true story all right show them the bowl ray done 695 savor it savor the goodness are you savoring it yet um we've been we've been getting these i mean we pay like a dollar to two dollars for these and they sell every week i don't think we have any at the shop yeah anymore. we're not like making millions off of them but ray dunn sells pretty well for us so we keep picking up we actually got a bowl that said slay on it like s-l-a-y <laughs> because cooper thinks it's funny and we send it to him for christmas but he doesn't want to move it around with him on his mission so he's shipped it back to his mom to keep safe till he gets home <laughs> so from now on, I'm going to buy him stuff. I'm going to take a picture of it and be like, you can have this when you get home. Um, just fair warning, may get hot in the microwave. Says it right on the bottom, just so you know. In case people don't know. Here, show them these and All right. tell them what these you These are got. actually really cool. These are basically like rub-on transfers for crafting memory books. The actual size of the letters are on the back. And there's um, 613 characters in each individual one i picked these up at the bins that's a lot of alphabets and this was like they were they must have been from a store because they were all together like this in a plastic bag so like new stock never used um and they are 4.95 each i saw them on amazon for like 8.95 so i thought 4.95 was a good price and we have six sets you're getting available. the bins discount the bins discount. that's right I think they're cute. For people who like to use junk journals and things, they'll be fine. Okay, this already sold. I was on the fence about buying it. It was $3.99. It's not super old, but it's just really pretty. It's got like floral on it and French writing. 
and I sold it for $28.95. So I think this one is actually gold leafed. Um, this is like a hanging wall sconce. Yeah. Uh, we've been using these a lot for bookends lately. We're not painting those. Though. Not going to paint them. There's a few scuffs and age and dings, and we're going to leave them just like that because we love it. They're $26.95 each. They do not match. They are different. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, mixing and matching has been really popular for quite a while now. Somebody wants to know if you're sponsored by Hurley. No. Nope. Or Volcom, for that matter. No, nope. nope. I just... You know what? They make pretty good quality clothes that, that wear well. Like, let's just go out and say that uh, the slim fit shirts that everybody's trying to push on the world right now are not for everybody, and they're definitely not for me. He's thick and wide. these are not slim fit. They're very like this is an extra large. Like an extra large in some brands is like. <gasps> I got a hole in my joggers. No, not the joggers. I love these and I've had them for years. Um, also, it's from Costco. Like everything yep. I own is Jamie Ray vintage, like from our shop or from Costco or like twice a year, I go to the Volcom outlet up on the hill over here. Yeah, and we I do like have an outlet up. close. So that's probably and why. So they, yeah, he wears a lot of Volcom because I'll go to the outlet like twice a year and stock up. <laughs> and we don't spend a ton of money on our clothes because you just never know when you're going to get Also, it's it. like the same brands I wore in high school and it's still like in style, I guess. I don't know. So I'm rocking it. <laughs> um, I'm new here. Is this what y'all do on the site? We do a lot. So this is just Saturday. We do our thrift haul every Saturday night, but we also have a ton of edited videos where we show you how to thrift, how to make over, how to paint stuff. We have videos on how we built our house. So Rex. all kinds of DIY. Rex, hey, Rex. Rex. I'm going to put you in air timeout too. Can you just give them to my mom? She already let him out. She doesn't want him in. Oh, well, I think Odelia's hey, here. So hey. hand them off to her. Odelia, go put them up in the room. They're going crazy because you got home. Sorry if all your dogs are barking now. I apologize. <laughs> all right. Let's keep going here. Show them the cat. Little cat planner. It was $1.99 at the Goodwill. It is... It just says Kickerland. I don't know what that means. It's just the brand. Um, Kickerland or whatever. $9.95 on it. These, these were going up to like 20 bucks for yeah. these. We just... We're like, yeah, we got to use. We're not going to charge twenty dollars for these. And anything that's cat sells well, like the fabric from last week, the four ran or five yards. It was actually five yards, but I said four because I want to under promise, over deliver. Sold of cat fabric, like people, the cat people show up. So if you guys are resellers and you see I mean, cat stuff, pick it up. How great would this look with like a little spiky cactus growing out the back of this cat? A little succulent. A little. Zeb's all about the succulents. Sassy black cat. Did you know they've been painting the succulents? I saw them down at Home Depot. They're all painted up. I'm like, how's it going to do its uh They're real and they're thing. painted? Yeah. Uh, what's the animal on these coasters? It's a chicken. What did I say that it was in the... What coaster? The chicken sewing. Did I put that it was a cat sewing in the coasters? I put cats. It's, it's not cats. It's chickens. It's a chicken. Sorry. Um, I was a little tired when I did it. You're not a Did robot? Did they sell? Oh, good. Okay. Sewing cat, also known as a chicken. <laughs> um, I paid $2.99. I got these at the Goodwill bag wall, and we're they're, selling for $12.95 for the set like, of four. They're like plaster or porcelain. Um, Julie says, for sure, just sold two cat things right off the bat at her booth. Yeah, they do well. The cat people show up. Um, I was going to read another comment. I think Leslie said she just woke up. Maybe it was the, maybe she was out here, but then she fell asleep and the dogs woke her up. I'm not sure. All right. We oh, got to get going. I know. I'm going. I'm going. Okay. Tell Story them about the toast holder. Been good. Toast it's holder. It's tarnished silver. And I thought it was for mail, but I know better because when we went to England, our little cottages, we stayed at have, this. have these. And the reason is now, if you're from England, this is going to make sense. But if you're from the States, you're going to be like, what? You don't in want the, your toast In hot? the States, you take your warm toast you butter it you put it on your plate and it's a little crispy on the outside a little soggy on the inner and the inside and the juxtaposition is really good but in england no soggy toast so they toast their toast they put it in the holder when all the toast is toasted they take it to the table and then they butter it and jam it or whatever it is i don't even they know do. if they're buttering it no they're they just eating straight they butter toast. and jam they don't eat straight dry toast <laughs> <laughs> i don't know sometimes they bring it to me like that and there's no butter uh, twenty eight ninety five on this. It's tarnished silver. In the it's, states, I think most people just use that for their mail. 
We do have a mail holder. Well, we have this mail holder that I actually really like. This one's $12.95. It's just a wire metal. It was $1.50, and I just think it'd be great. You could also use it to, I don't know, display things in it, but it's cute. Okay, it was $1.50. It's $12.95. We're going to start going a little faster because it's $9.15, and we've got a lot to get through. Um, these are three used Valentines, um, ranging in age from 1966 to... 1966. What's this one? No, this one's 1953. Mm. Um, and they're $9.95 for the three. I think they'd just be really cute, just kind of like paper clipped up on a display for Valentine's Day. We just missed Valentine's Day, but we just got them. So we got them after Valentine's <laughs> Day. It's fine. And they had, they're already from Loriam. And then this one. I thought we were going to go faster. That's going to read you the inscriptions. They did, they've been signed. I know, so, I put that they were used. Yeah, it's. I actually think that makes them better to me. This we picked up for $8. I got it from the other side, Thrift Boutique in Salt Lake. This week, if you guys um, watched us, we went to some different thrift stores, and it was good because we got to eat breakfast out, and that was also really yummy. Um, and we sold it for $24.95, and it was $8. It's tarnished silver. It's a little chippy, but it's not, got a nice heavy bottom, so it's got a good weight to it. It's a lot of jokes there waiting to be had. Um, <laughs> we have some winners. So after we do that, we'll do our winners. Okay, $3.99 each for these. We're not painting these. Sometimes we'll get these and they'll be like a little chipped or cracked or a piece will be broken. And we'll paint them up and make them look like copper or stone or gold. But this is just like a fun little cast floral bookend uh, or and got your garden bucket and everything. They're they're the same, so you know, just use both. They are twenty eight ninety five for the set. And I paid three ninety nine each. Yeah, so you were in, you're into it for eight bucks. I was I normally don't pay that much, but I could not leave those because you all know I love gardening. So all right, let's pick some winners here. So if you don't know, if you share on Facebook anything, not just this video, any video, any picture, any weird thing that I post on my Facebook page. If you share it, Facebook keeps track of it, and we pick two new winners every week. And all you have to do if you win is email info at jamierayvintage.com. And as long as it is legal, we will ship you some happy mail. Now, if you live really far away in another country, it's probably going to be something flat and relatively inexpensive to ship. But if you're here in the States, sometimes we ship paint, wax, uh, something that I painted and I no longer wanted, just like total random stuff. Um, and the paint and the wax is usually slightly dented so we can't sell it but still totally usable and people love getting it as a happy mail um caitlin picked two winners today um sandra campbell and it's camp bell c-a-m-p-b-e-l-l -L, and shannon venable bailey so if you email info at jamierayvintage.com you can get your happy mail and Caitlin put it in the comments so that way you guys can see that as well. All right. We have this wood burl bowl basket. And I love it. I think it's amazing. The handle does look like they had a slight bit of trouble with it. I can't tell if it's sap or if they put like putty on it. Just know that there are some imperfections. We're not selling it for $350 like it would be at a designer boutique. We're selling it for $59.95. Um, it was $3.99 at the Goodwill, and it does need you, – you might condition it or do something. I'm sending it to you as is because I think the age and the patina on there is good. I and you was can on the fence it. about it, and then we put it in a video, and everybody loved that. And so I guess I will probably never pass up another Burlwood uh, basket in my life. Here's because... the thing. Burls are really rare. Sometimes when you go to do stuff with them, they're all cracked and you can't really make anything out of them. And they're really popular, like Live Edge, Burl Bowls, things like that. Are it, They're hard to find because there just aren't a lot of burls out there. Marsha, the Happy Meal winners are totally random. You could share one time or a hundred. We just pick them at random and we try not to duplicate. Um, let's see. Can you use Big Top over your papers? I'm using as a tabletop. Um, yeah, I think liquid patina works better. If it were me, I would do liquid patina to decoupage and then just do a couple of coats of Big Top so you had some added durability. Because you can do Big Top over liquid patina. But if you don't have it, you, you probably could. It's just the thing about liquid patina is it's thicker. 
and the rice paper is thicker, so I feel like it works better with it. If you were just using our thinner, larger decoupage papers, it's the like tissue the tissue paper. paper, then Big Top would definitely work. Um, but like I said, if I was doing it, I would do liquid patina and then I would do the Big Top over the top. Yep. Okay. Okay. Um, we don't have a lot that we're painting this week because we already did a lot of painting Thursday. Uh, but these were 99 cents each at the Goodwill. And we've been loving, speaking of decoupage paper, the bunny paper looks out of this world on these, out of this world on these little cutting boards. We cannot repeat, cannot keep it in stock. Like they pretty much sell immediately when we put the bunny paper on these. And we might start doing and different I, papers. To mix yeah. It up. I found these. Well, we're, we can only ride the bunny Easter kick. For, it, for spring I actually for think so these long. are small enough. You might could use one sheet of rice paper and do all three. Like oh. have a scene that carries over, like the past. Sell them as a set. No, not as a set. They're sold individually, sixteen ninety five. But I don't know. We could try it out. I'm not sure if it's quite. So Jamie's not guaranteeing that we're going to do the bunny scene on here, but they no. will get decoupage, and they're going to be sixteen ninety five when we're Odelia, done. Odelia, we have a lot of things to show. Okay, we're going to keep show. showing, and then Odelia's just going to walk by with her hair. We're not going to say anything. She's she we're just going to keep she, going. Did you mention something in comments, Odelia? Yeah, yeah she got her hair. Just, she cut her hair. Tell us, start a mission papers coming here. <laughs> She's so cute. Show them your flippy short haircut. I can do like the bullet. <laughs> I got my hair cut too, but nobody can tell. Yeah. Because it was half an inch or an inch. I don't even remember. Yeah, short hair. So cute. She hasn't had short hair since she was like four. All right. Next up, then that's because she did dance and then cheer. And you it's have to be able to hair. do all the do's. It's just so much easier. Okay, it was a dollar. And this is a shaving mug. I don't know who's shaving in this fancy little mug, but that's what Typically it is. Typically shaving mugs, from my experience, um, guys were using them back in the day for their beards and trimming up their facial hair. But let me know. Their wife was like, if you're putting that mug in my bathroom, it better be cute. Yeah. $16.95 for this cute shaving uh, mug. Shaving mugs are for ladies too, all right? Everybody says that Odelia is cute and adorable. She is. It's a true story. All right. All my children are good looking. It's really just, it's just the way they came. I can't help it. And it's not just because I'm their mom. <laughs> all right. Next up. <laughs> How much did you pay for this frame? Was this from the bins? <clears throat> uh, I don't know. That was not from the bins. Who watched the video? You Who picked remember? that. I didn't grab that. I, did I? Mm-hmm. Does anybody remember where I bought this? I don't remember. I'm saying it was under $3. It probably was like a buck or two. And we're going to put art in it and sell for $26.95. And I actually really love the finish. So I'm going to keep the finish the way it is and just put like a really pretty classy um, print in there, like probably something pastoral or whatever. Um, and then it's going to be $26.95. It is missing the back, so I'll have to do some cardboard to hold it nice and uh, firm in here. Uh, Kai says, we love the Ray family. Daryl says, or Deborah says that Daryl has a shaving mug, but it isn't pretty and it has a mustache on it. See, that makes more sense. So we were, I was thrown off by the, uh, cause typically like, you know, women have been shaving their legs for a long time, but that's like something that typically happens in the shower while they're bathing. Like I've not seen them like up at the sink, like shaving their legs. I mean, I guess you could. But that would require flexibility and, and <laughs> about 10 years ago for me. All right. So oh, these... Linda said that she just bought the frame. Well, it's going to be cool, Linda. I promise you. I'm excited nice. about that one. Um, so this is this one's made in Portugal. This one was made in China. It's under the glazing on the bottom, but it's a half picture for hanging on your wall and like planting something or putting this came from my friend Heather florals in there. So whatever, it's got a little eyelet on the back to hang. She it. must have thrifted it because that was a buck. This one, I don't know, doesn't have a thrift tag on it. This one's from Portugal. Yep. Hand painted is what it says on the back of this yeah, one. And this signed. is also a wall pocket and it's got holes so you can hang it. And that one was $22.95. This is like a little match holder. I don't um, know that it's a match holder. That's just what it looked like to me. I think that's probably what you would use it for. I probably found other match kitchen, holders that were metal. Match holder in the kitchen to light your stove. Because because yeah. up until a little while ago, you had to light your stove. You, you didn't have like the little clicky thing on there. Um, so this all three of those older. have sold. Nice. Well, you know what? We're going to have to take Heather and Mike out to have some uh, La Fontaine. 
I know they introduced us to that. I know place. they're the reason that I have chili verde every week on Tuesday. And if I don't have it on Tuesday, then I eat it on Wednesday because they let you. Here's a little secret about La Fontaine. If you're from around here, you can have the lunch special anyone you want as long as you come during lunch. So it doesn't have to be a particular yeah, day of like the week. Like you can have the Tuesday on the Wednesday and the Wednesday on the Friday. They don't care. And on Wednesday was Valentine's Day. So Zeb took me to La Fontaine and then he had to bring um, oh. La Fontaine to all the women in the house. So he brought everybody a lunch special. And if you go, I know we got a lot to show still, but if you go and you're filling the nachos, the half, half order. order of nachos is like a big old mounded plate. What size are the small cutting boards? Oh, back um, to business. I think they're over right. here. You show them what's next and I will get the So these are tape. napkin rings, but they're like little silver bells. Can you see those? Oh, you can't. Did yeah, you I'll put that up in the drawer, sweetie? Oh, yeah. Why would it be in the drawer? Oh, measuring tape. I'm like, I did not put the cutting boards in the drawer. The set for these is $9.95. Four and a half inches by just over 12 and a half inches. That's on the handle length. The base is about nine. Yeah. You want to, you want me to be more specific that on the money, nine inches to the handle. <laughs> All right. We've got this little muffin tin here. This is 1895 and it's kind of like a uh, little bunts is what this looks like. Little mini buntless, bunt, buntlets. Somebody bought, <laughs> somebody bought my sewing cat. Coaster set that actually is a chicken. Well, hopefully have, they were watching. They bought it after. Well, well, if you look at the picture, you can tell it's not a cat. All right, show them your bunny. All right, this already sold. This is like a bunny nightlight. These are like, um, what's it called that they stiffen fabric with? Starch. Starched uh, fabric ears. And then it's got a little bunny whiskers. And you plug it in, it's a little nightlight. Um, and I think it was like a dollar, two dollars. And I sold it for $16.95. Bunnies are hot. Bunnies, cats. I would buy sheep if I could find them, but those are a little harder to you find. You know, the only reason I know about starch, my mom starched a few things, but when I was on my mission, uh, my companion starched his shirts, and I tried it a couple times, and I was like, no, why are you wearing that stiff old shirt? It's under your suit or under your jacket. We were in Connecticut. It's raining or cold. <laughs> One of my secretaries, when I used to do mortgages, starched her nine-year-old's jeans for school, his Wranglers. I'm happy if Jack puts on his jogger pants and they're facing the right direction. And he hasn't worn them for four days in a row. Yeah. Many times I stop him before he goes out the door and I'm like, Jack, those have a stain on them. Try again. <laughs> okay. Scoutmaster's Minute. This used to be doing for like firesides, but it was also to teach kind of the boys uh, like etiquette, manners, um, kind of some social skills. And it went with the motto, a scout is helpful, friendly, brave, courteous. I can't remember it all. It's been a while since I've done it. I'm sure some of you uh, moms out there that have earned your Eagle Scout with every boy that you've had um, remember this better than I do. Oh, look, someone signed it. Ogden, Utah. Okay. This is five ninety five. This is was this from one of the Heather's, or did no, you find this? Um, yes, that came from Heather. It was with this, so the, which is a Ziploc baggie. Um, this has four little like, what are these called? Doilies, of varying uh, degrees of possibly tea stained, um, and they're fourteen ninety five for all four. We're gonna in the shop. Go. I will not display them in a baggie if they don't sell online. Typically, things like this, we roll it up, kind of cute tied up with some twine and a little bow and then put it in the shop. Fair warning, we're going to go over our hour mark that we usually try to hit on this live stream. We didn't title this Mega Haul, but there were so many items. How many items do you think you listed? Over 60 or 70 items? That's why Caitlin didn't see them all together because I literally have been listing <laughs> all, all week. week and I finished today. Okay, I'm going to rapid fire this little section here. We had a request for textiles. So what, you want to show the quilts? People are waiting. They're waiting They're for They're waiting them. for the okay, quilts. That's how I keep you here till the end. I don't even know. Honestly, usually the quilts sell right away, but I haven't seen a lot running across. Okay. So so this little doily, 20 inches across in diameter, it says in the description or the title, um, it's got some sun fading here and there on it. But honestly, like 
I, I you're not going to get like a heavy I put, like when this I took anymore. the picture it looked more stained but when I washed it, it came pretty clean it just mostly just has sun fading on it that one is 995 so you know you, you're not breaking the bank on it this one's cute it's got a nice little scalloped edge okay we've All got right. some afghans some afghans this one is like almost receiving blanket but a little bigger than that size and you can show them it could go around your neck yeah you could yeah. totally shawl this out um it's just got a really soft buttery yellow so it doesn't really pick up on camera but it's soft yellow and white this one this one is a little, little non-uniform it's 29.95 because of it here you want to hold this in and it has a couple little small stains we couldn't get out when we washed it i feel like this is the perfect camping afghan it's pretty thick it's skinny on the bottom, so somebody got real tight with their stitches, and then they got loose up and here. And it's probably been over a couch because it's got a little fading here and there where it was sitting by a window or something. But anyway, it's I just like what's the price on that one? Twenty nine ninety five. Twenty nine ninety five. Yeah. Next up, we have a little. This one is twenty two ninety five. This is just like a little baby quilt, and it's like periwinkle and light blue and cream, and it's got like this. I love this the edge because oh, no. it's got stripes. Hold on, we'll get you back focused here. There you are. Joni says, take your time. We will take our time. Because you're here, we're here, and if people mm -hmm. don't want to wait, they could catch us tomorrow. Joni, we it's have okay. a hard time shutting down the story time. No, the story time is real. Next up, this one, you cannot tell on camera, but there's a diamond pattern on it. So not only did somebody very nicely stripe this with a myriad of colors, this one is thick. there's diamond texture on it. And if this one's like warm because it's nice and thick and Here, that's let's a hold lot it of this work. Way so we can, so it's got fringe. Let's hold it this way so they can see all the colors. What this way? This is the coat of many colors here, but like, seriously, the diamonds are perfect. So whoever made this, was really talented. You guys can kind of see it. I'm seeing it on screen. Um, Peppy says she made one like the periwinkle one for her son 48 years ago and still has it. You can kind of see the yeah, diamonds. Yeah, no, you can there. see the diamonds there. That I we didn't realize that when we bought it. We got home, we're like, that's some next level. Crocheting. Jamie's hoping no one buys this one. It matches the rest of our decor. And we literally have an Jack Afghan. Jack totally thought it was the Afghan that we keep on the back of our couch. Yeah, we have one. He's that's like, just it's like exactly this. the same, mom. It's, it's a little different, but it's sage. <clears throat> it's sage green. So some of our Afghans don't really fit my vibe. I know you know which ones. This one is totally something that would live at my house. It has a scalloped edge. It's oh, sage no, I'm green. My shawl. It's sage green, and it's super cute. This one is thirty nine ninety five. And then we have a couple of quilts. I'm gonna have to take this off. It's just falling off me. Okay, I needed, next up, I needed a brooch to hold it close. This one is a, a bunny and a fox i think and then looks like there's a little teddy bear in roller skates it's so cute and it's soft like soft because it's been washed so much and then whoever made it on the back there's animals and they hands this is completely hand stitched except for the edge um this machine machine stitch and then they drew the animals and they stitched around them when there's, they quilted there's it like a little what is this a bunny on the a little puppy or something bunny a uh, and bear, a cat, goat. A bear. These are two. This is a boy and a girl goat on the top. And a bunny in the middle. It is literally the most precious baby quilt. And the foxes so and the bears. And then, hands down, the coolest quilt. I will not be sad if this one doesn't sell. It's um, got the bonnets on it. Each one is embroidered onto the quilt square, and they're all. And a they all bit have different. different pants. Every pant. Yeah, different pants. Is different. All vintage fabric. Everything that's quilted is all hand sewn and then it's machine zigzagged around the edge, but it's hand sewn. It does have some light staining, but for a quilt of this age, it's in really good condition. It's probably one of the best I've ever found. I bought it at the bins. It was about $3 because they sell it to you by the um, weight. And the guy was like, what are you doing with this old quilt? Because a lot of people come to the bins and they buy like clothes and things. They're resellers. They're not buying the quilts. And I was like, um, that quilt's worth well over a hundred dollars. And his jaw just fell. And then I also reminded him, like, it's not worth over a hundred dollars to like the teenagers on the street buying the bins clothes. It, it needs to be the right person. But those of us in the resell vintage hand quilted world know that that's like what you always are hoping to find.
So Jack and I decided that this would be a proper ogre club. It's very heavy. I Please can't, don't use it as a club. I can't swing it. That uh, <laughs> quilt, I think, was $149.95. I don't think Caitlin's dropped the link on it. Sorry, I forgot yeah, to. Yeah, $149. And my phone died. Uh, might be in 129. I can't remember now. No, I think it's 149. This has a couple little nicks and dings and stuff on there. Um, we are going to fix those. We like the color of it, so we're probably just going to go with gold or copper, whatever matches closest, oh. and do some dark wax. Hold on. It's 129.95. Thanks, Caitlin. Yeah, Sorry about that. The link in the price is above. I talk so much that I couldn't find it. Uh, but we're we're not painting this whole thing, and this this one is 149. This one I paid fifteen dollars for, and it's from. Hold on, on the bottom, it's uh, Milano Designs, made in the USA. <clears throat> I'm just gonna take gold wax. Did you already see this? Yep. Okay, sorry. I'm just gonna touch it up. I like the way it looks. So we'll it's got just, like three little cherub faces on it. It's good. It's like if you were to buy that in Europe at an antique store, you're talking three, four hundred dollars easy. So that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna sell super fast because it is a little expensive but it'll look amazing in the shop. Although I say that and Zeb's rooster sold for $149 and I'm, I packed that up today and Eliza's like, mom, what are you doing? I had paper and foam and this little bubble stuff that you can put all the way around it, not bubble wrap, but like bubble things. I'm like, if this doesn't make it, it wasn't meant to be because I really packed it well. All right, so this is an old tackle box. It might have been a toolbox, but typically when they have this divided tray that doesn't lift out, um, it's, a, it's a tackle box. But anytime we can get these vintage boxes, they're great for craft supplies. <laughs> they look cool on a shelf wherever they're at. So you can put nothing in there and it'd still be cool. Um, this one here is going to be $26.95. I love the navy blue. Interestingly enough, that was on the cart with all those brass candlesticks and also these green glass jars that we'll show you guys here in a little bit. And there was a swarm of people around the cart and nobody picked up the brass. Nobody picked up the toolbox. Nobody picked up the green glass. The green glass is on a separate cart. I'm like, those are all the best. I'm always surprised at like what people are grabbing um, off the carts. It's planting season, but these are for your winter plants. It says joy, merry, and cheer. I mean, cheer could be for a cheerleader. Joy could be because you're joy. And merry, okay, that's Christmas. Um, they were $1.50 each. They're the Ray Dunn style. We are selling them for $6.95 each. And if you don't, uh, guys, I turn stuff around all the time. If it's up on a shelf, no one's going to see that the back says merry. Yeah, you can put it out for Christmas and then flip it around. You could put an IOD transfer on the other side for a different holiday or for everyday wear. All right, we had a debate about this. Zeb says it's a nutcracker, but I looked it up and it says it's a tobacco cutter. But there's no cutter. There's no cutter. It's a ma it would mash something. I don't cut tobacco, so I don't know how that works. Unless you're cutting it like <laughs> right here, but that's just the stop. Um, pretty sure that these are for nuts, but you know, whatever you want to use it for, it's antique, vintage style. Um, it is older. It's 1895. Somebody said you could put utensils in those Ray Dunn pots. That'd be yes, really cute to put it out for a party. Yeah. All right. Next up, a, a big aluminum pot. That so, came from Heather. Aluminum pot here. I love that it has the uh, the handle on there. Um, it is missing. It's it pro This is bent over. It probably had some sort of uh, little pull riveted on there. But that, that's gone. We're going to leave it as is you know some people say you shouldn't cook in aluminum i'll let you make your own decision but you could plant in it and that would be really cool i do a lot of aluminum pots. i'm gonna bend that back over because that was probably like that so you could actually grab it and pull it off yeah i think so <laughs> don't mess with it uh 26.95 and like jamie said this is this is waiting to be a planter pecan nutcracker is what vintage crystal but uh, a lot I of think but, so too but i'm gonna tell you right now that there was a lot of people that said it's for cutting cigars so and that's what I said online. All right. Wagner Ware Griswold. This is a cast iron muffin tin. And we are not, I'm not refreshing it. Yeah, I'm not reconditioning this one. It's good. It's got these two uh, places where you could hang it or hold it however you want. Or if, if you, you needed to pull it out and you didn't want to burn yourself, you could, like if you were cooking, yeah. you could grab like the little uh, hooks that you have and you can pull it off the fire. It says USAB stamped in the bottom. You can recondition it if you want, but I wouldn't. I'd just leave it. 
is $32.95. Next up, a little false graph sugar dish. Look, looks kind of like Ironstone. It was two bucks. We're selling that for $10.95. Seb, show them the mug you found. It's actually collectible. Distance learning specialist. I had a good chuckle about this one when I found it. Usually um, the Ray Dunn mugs are selling right around like uh, $12.95. So we sell them for less. This Most of these were going in the $20 range. And it 20 is, plus. It's it like was a green $0.99. Blue inside. Normally I have to pay two or three bucks for them. But we're selling it for $12.95. So. so if you are a distance learning specialist and you need a mug with a green inside, show them the inside. We got you. I like to have random stuff. I don't know about you guys, but I feel like the more random it is, the better it sells because somebody needs that specific item that's not super common. And if you have it, it sells well. So this is the Pampered Chef. This is going to feel weird, but it's from 1998 when I was a uh, sophomore in high school. No, you were And a sophomore okay. year was 98, oh. beginning sophomore, of junior, junior year. Sophomore, junior, yeah. Yeah. Uh, sophomore, junior year in high school, however you want to split that up. Um, but you know 20 it's it was 26 years ago and it's 26.95 that's what you were trying to get to yeah we paid 15 dollars for the set of three so five dollars each so this is the gingerbread with um oh i put heart that's not a heart oh the heart's over here hearts in that the one. heart's over here and then this one has an arched window so i didn't know how to like separate the two of them which ones were rich so this one has a little heart and this one has an arch window and they're each 26.95 this this is 1997. I think this one is 1991. Oh no, it did not. It says say. the heritage. Okay, I was wrong. I almost didn't buy these because I never pay five dollars a piece for my molds, but they're usually smaller. And then I looked up the price, and they were selling for like thirty plus. So I thought I'll grab them. All right, last things of the night. We, these are these were thrifted. I think the rest of this was from the Heather's. Yes. So these were twenty five cents each because they're canning jars. At our thrift stores, canning jars, unless they're marked, are all a certain price, usually between 25 and 50 cents each. These are antique. Um, they're the nice, thick, wavy glass. They're not blue, but this one has like a bubble. Um, and they're $9.95 each is what I'm selling these for. Little whisk with a wood handle. This one is $6.95. And then we've got a Atlas um, jar here. It does not have – It's. it probably had, was like a hermetic – jar but it's missing its lid perfect for floral so or... it's 6.95 it's got markings all over it super cute and old it's and wavy. show them your one of your favorite items the brace and bits the brace and bits these are both really great shape i like the red on this one it's 19.95 i like the teal and the blue on this one it's also 19.95 they're actually both in really good usable condition um so if for you, the if carpenter you needed in it, your life although that needs to come out there we go. Now we can run it. I don't even know. What do you use a bracing bit for? They're, they have like bits, like a drill bit that goes Oh, down. you can put drill. Okay. That makes sense. Okay. Yeah. Similarly, this is a manual whisk for making your whipped cream. And it's got like the... Um, we had one of those when I was a kid and we used it a lot. Were you born in 1955? No, but my mom was born in 56. <laughs> <laughs> we did not have one of these. My parent, my mom was born in 1939, and I'm telling you, as soon as they came out with one you could plug in, that's what she bought. I honestly don't even remember what we were whipping because you can whip eggs like crazy, but I remember getting in there and, and then it'd splash all over the pan, and you'd have to slow down. <laughs> but your mom also used cloth diapers, so listen, she was. If not, it ain't broke, she, don't fix it. She was not letting that era die. Okay, I don't up. know. Oh, here it is. This is an old, this is definitely old. I would say even antique, uh, just looking at the way it's built in the Probably age. from like a tool cabinet because it's not dovetailed. Yeah. It's not precious. No, it's probably um, in some barn or shop Probably somewhere. had termites at some point. It's got a few like age spots in it. I don't know. That, what do you think? No, that was a label that was stapled on. Oh, never mind. Scratch up. Um, but this, this is old brass. And divided. This is going to be forty two ninety five. I would either put stuff in it like this or hang it on the wall. But yeah, definitely out of a shop or barn or something with the divided drawer. Mom had one. Deborah, if she had one, she never busted it out. I remember the one that was in a box, and you would you would put the beaters in, and then you plug like plug it in. We had that too. Eventually, 
Uh, but I just remember using this. Maybe it was at Grandma's. It could have been at Grandma Mary's that Maybe. I used that at. But I remember using it, and we were actually mixing stuff that we were going to eat. I didn't even know you can make whipped cream until I think – like it was when your brother was getting married, Mariah was over there and she was making, she's like, I'm going to make whipped cream. And I'm like, make whipped cream. And then she whisked it up. And I was like, I had no idea that you didn't just have to buy it in a can. I thought you had to have an aerosol and you had to spray it because that's the only this way. This girl here, like been making her whipped cream since my brother Abe got married. Like she can't stop. She's like, I, it's I so make, much better. I like homemade whipped cream and you put a little cream of tartar in it and then it's a little bit more stable, but I didn't know. And I ate Cool Whip. Now I only buy Cool Whip for one thing that I make. And other than that, I don't because Cool Whip is basically gear oil. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, thank you so much for joining us for all the story time. All these things just bring up a lot of memories. It's a lot of fun. If you guys want to shop along, it's jamierayvintage.com. And if you like this video, please consider sharing it out. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe to Jamie Ray Vintage for more. DIY. We'll see you on the next episode. Bye, you guys. It's President's Day Monday. We'll be thrifting. Yep, They're we open. Checked. We already checked. We checked. Just end the stream. I'm trying to end the stream. I don't know if it ended. This is not working. Oh, there we go.